Hello friends and welcome back to my channel All Things Trek 47. Bienvenidos. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to do a little bit of just maintenance and um, acquire some things for my free to play account. Now we have um, quite a few characters on my free to play account. Some of them are max level, uh, some aren't. Um, as you can see, we have quite a few Delta recruits. You can tell these are Delta recruits because of the uh, purple triangle that some of these have. You could have created a Delta recruit for the Romulans, the Federation, and the Klingons. So hope hope that you were able to do that. Um, at Delta recruits, they have some special rewards uh, for those characters and for your whole account. And um, I have most of the recruits actually on this free to play account because they're they're valuable they're useful so hopefully next time there is a recruit character doesn't matter which kind of character it is um you'll be able to go ahead and create a character for your account so let's go in with zolik recently by the way this is my character that we're using for the for the play along and play along series here and um he is still pretty low level um level 22 but he has I haven't you know he has some dilithium because of some TFOs that we've done um, in the past few months and right now I'm standing on let's see on this character I'm standing on 65,362 dilithium so what I wanted to do with this character for a while has been get a basically a command commander level ship that you could buy for dilithium that has a specific console that is very good and very useful um, for a free-to-play character and that console is the let's go um, check for the new ship here if I go to commander you're looking for the ship that's called um, temporal escort and the console that you want is this one that is called the um, m6 computer now the M6 computer uh, gives you firing haste. So basically it means that your weapons are firing a lot faster than they normally are, which causes you to be able to do more damage per second than you would normally. So it's a nice console to have, especially on a free to play character when you don't have all these, you know, a lot of super fancy ships or anything like that. Um, it's a great console. Um, so we're gonna grab this ship now. And the reason we can grab it is because it's got a 20% discount right now normally it's 20% more costly than this so right now you can get it for 60,000 dilithium and I have 65,362 so a little bit over the total price of this so I'm gonna grab this now I've been saving to get this ship specifically I didn't think I would get it until much later but because there's the sale going on I'm able to grab this right now so we're gonna go ahead and buy the ship all right, and here we go, the use is Baron, and um, it unlocks a ship costume, but it gives me the ability to get that console. So as you can see, it took my dilithium, so I'm, now I'm back down to a very low level, which is fine. We'll, we'll gather some more dilithium at a later point in the game. Now we can come here to manage ships, and there it is, the US is Baron. And the Baron has the console right here, m6 computer and now this is unlocked for this specific character so this isn't an account unlock it's just for the character that you you claim in mom right so i'm gonna grab this i'm gonna choose to put it on protection status on sounds like somebody is doing a genesis device fun anyways all right so we <laughs> We have this M6 computer now that we can use. It gives 50% bonus all damage for 15 seconds, 25% cooldown reduction to tactical bridge officer abilities. Here's that 20% firing cycle haste for all weapons for 15 seconds, a plus 30 accuracy rating for 15 seconds, and a 30 plus 30 for defense rating. So it's a good console to have. Again, free to play characters or even not free to play characters. This is a good console to have. So we're gonna go ahead and just grab that. I'm gonna put it in my inventory and um, we're gonna find a spot for it here on my ship, maybe. Um, the USS Hawaii. And this will be beneficial later on for, um, for the missions that we will be playing. So 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to take out this shield emitter just because, you know, it's very low level. It doesn't really, it's not really going to be doing much for me right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this M6 computer, which will do a lot more for me. So thankfully this is a universal console and I can put it in whatever slot I want to. And it's not just a tactical console where it has to go in a tactical slot. So I can still use the two tactical, or the three tactical, um, actually two tactical consoles that I have here, which is the uh, tactical phaser relay and this uh, directed energy distribution manifold. So um, I didn't have to remove those and I didn't have to remove this other universal console that I have that's called prolonged engagement power dynamo, which um, syncs up with two other um, weapons that I have, which is the uh, prolonged engagement torpedo and the prolonged engagement phaser. So I get, I still have the ability to have all three of those and um, still add this M6 computer. So I'm very happy about that. I'm happy about the discount and I'm happy that I had enough dilithium to be able to go ahead and grab that for my free to play character. So like that's gonna be very beneficial moving forward and anybody could do this um, again, just gather um, your dilithium like normal um, just play missions turning in certain things um, certain missions you'll be able to get uh, dilithium and save those up so that you get that um, ship so now another thing we're gonna go ahead and take a look at is we're gonna go to the Zen store and I'm gonna go to where it says promotion or personal sorry nope promotion I was right and I'm going to grab this for my character. This is the Tholian Incursion Pack. This was given away um, through Alienware's website. So in in collaboration with, of course, with Star Trek Online, um, you get a free code. And this gives you an Elite Services Pack, which gives you um, more inventory slots and things like that. It also gives you one Tholian Crystal and Sword. Um, and an EV Tholian toy ground non-combat pet. So this is kind of neat. Be on the lookout for those giveaways. They happen um, a few times a year, and sometimes they're different websites, right? Alienware, sometimes it's Intel. Um, I believe before, um, there's been like other ones, like Steel Series, um, things like that. So just kind of be on the lookout for that. If you're not if you haven't joined um, one of the Discord servers for Star Trek Online, definitely do that. I have my own Discord server that you can join. Uh, the link is down below in the description. Go ahead and join, and um, usually somebody will put in um, into the chat when there is one of these giveaways so that you don't miss out on these. Um, these are valuable for free-to-play players, especially because you get things that otherwise you'd have to pay money for. For example, this Elite Services Pack, if we take a look at that and go to where it says Slots and Services, and we go, let's see, let's take a look. Scroll down, Elite Services Starter Pack, it's 1,000 Zen. So you'd have to spend 1,000 Zen to be able to get this, right? So that's about roughly around, I guess, $10. Um, US dollars and um, or again you could grind out dilithium for Zen and be able to get one of these it's it's actually very good to to get at least you know to get this once actually I think you could only get this once per character so it's nice because it gives you 36 inventory slots 36 bank slots two British officer slots and three skill retrain tokens to retrain your skills so all these things are really nice and really valuable, especially on the free-to-play level. So if you do grind out Dilithium for Zen, um, this is definitely one of those things that I would say, go ahead and get it if you can. But if you get it for free like I did, I mean, why not, right? Save yourself that thousand Zen and just get it for free. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go back into promotions and we're gonna claim this for my free-to-play character. Uh, so like and you'll be able to see that the uh, the amount of slots that I get increases. So let's go ahead and claim And oh, I guess I have to go ahead and click on the elite services bundle here and right click on it Let's do the combat pet first And there we go now we have a little uh, EV combat or non-combat pet. Sorry 
Let's go ahead and use him. See what he looks like. And there he is. He's a little blue guy right there. Following me around. So that's really neat. That's really cool. You know, it's just a fun little thing to have. <laughs> there he goes. Very nice. I also got the weapon, the Stolian Crystalline Sword. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. Switch it out for my, uh, my phaser. And what we could do is we could switch weapons. And that's what it looks like. It's actually pretty neat looking. Really neat looking uh, sword. Oh, yeah, look at that. Really neat. So this for free, fantastic, right? So let's go ahead and open the Elite Services Bundle. Use that. Wow, look at how many slots. I mean, I got so many more inventory slots. I also got additional bridge officer slots, bank slots, and inventory slots. So if we take a look, it gave me two extra bridge officer station stations. So. I could grab some more bridge officers and I won't have to run out of, out of space necessarily for them. So, again, for free to play, this is fantastic. And I am very excited that I was able to get that and um, without having actually spent any in real life money on it. And also some free slots from that giveaway that they were doing Alienware and that I was able to get that, um, that commander level ship with the console specifically for the console which was the um the m6 computer which is going to help this free-to-play character quite a lot so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh this video on some uh, maintenance that i'm doing here on my account i was able to get that shift just at the last minute but i was like man i need to record this so i just wanted to record it for you all so you can see kind of how i do things with my free-to-play account and um, hope that it was informative. If you have any questions for me, please go ahead and leave them down below in the comments section. Uh, join the Discord. Um, if you have even further questions about game dynamics um, here in uh, for Star Trek Online, there's a lot of knowledgeable people there who can help out. And uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions there as well. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Live long and prosper.